I wanted to share some final tips with you that I just think are really important that are often overlooked. So let's jump into them. Number one, the positioning of your phone when you're recording is really important. If you film videos with your phone up high like this, I've seen a lot of people film like this and I just don't understand it. it it's just kind of an awkward angle. You're just kind of looking up at, at your audience and they're like looking down like what, what? <laughs> and conversely, holding your phone down here, it, it could make your audience feel like you're talking down to them. As silly as that seems, it could subconsciously feel that way. So try to keep your phone at eye level, like you're just having a conversation with a friend or with a potential client who wants to hear everything about what you have to offer. Offer them a mutual experience. Keep your phone steady. I've seen a lot of videos also where somebody is, you know, either walking around and, you know, it, it just makes you wanna, mm. I just get motion sick really easily. I don't know, let me know in the comments if you do too. And this is such an easy solution. If you are, again, a realtor and you're doing open house videos or walk through videos of a property, I would highly recommend investing in uh, a stabilizing gimbal. And I will leave a link below to one that you can check out. Or if you're just gonna sit down and talk to a camera, a simple tripod would do the trick. You can get them for $30 or less. You can go to Five Below and probably get one for five bucks. You can even find them at secondhand stores or you don't even have to fool with that. You can just take your phone and lean it up against something and prop it up like I like to do a lot of times and go rogue with it. Clean your lens. So on our phones, the back camera will be the highest quality video. But if you're doing a selfie style, you know, video, you're going to be using the front camera. So just always like take your shirt and kind of wipe off the lens, wipe off the lens. Just make sure that there are no smudges. We tend to, you know, play with our phones or reach for our phones and get our finger oils on them and you know you just want to make sure everything is as clear as it can possibly be. Next be mindful of your background. Now I realize I am filming in my bedroom right now which I wouldn't normally do but the lighting is so good in here that we're going with it. But just make sure that there's not a ton of clutter, that there's not something that's distracting, that you don't have like piles of dirty laundry. Just make sure there's nothing scandalous back there. I'm not saying that you would have anything scandalous in your household. I'm just saying, be mindful. And lastly, like I keep saying, have fun. Don't take it too seriously. Just assume that your first few videos are gonna be crap. It's fine, everyone's are but just keep at it. Keep building that muscle. Nobody is good at something the very first time they do it or second, third, 10th time. It takes practice. It takes getting comfortable. And I guarantee if you stick with it, you will get so much better. All right, now let's move on to our last video.